How's it going, everybody? My name is Sean, and I'm your host with Paper Planes. In this Dark Souls video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to locate and install the simple UI mod for Dark Souls PC. All right, everybody, before we get started, I want you to navigate to my YouTube page and find my Dark Souls how to install DS Fix mod for dummies. This is a complete tutorial on how to install DS Fix mod. This is a prerequisite mod to any installation of textures that you're going to add to the game. So make sure that you have DS Fix installed. If you do not, check out this video and you'll learn all you need to know about doing so. Okay, once you have that done, going to navigate to Google Chrome or whatever your browser is. I'm going to go to darksouls.nexusmods.com. Once there, you're going to search. Well, first off, you're going to log in or register if you haven't already. Then you're going to do a search for simple UI. You get one option here. We'll click on that and then we're gonna to go to files and we're gonna download manually the most recent version. Just click on any mirror site you like and the download should begin. All right, now we've completed this download. We're gonna open that, minimize our browser, drag this over here, and now we're going to open up the Dark Souls folder so you'll need to navigate to wherever that might be for you mine is in the steam and then steam apps common dark souls data and then you should have the ds fix folder here if you have successfully installed your ds fix mod make sure you navigate to texture override then we're going to select all of these png files and drop them into our texture override file our folder all right and now we'll minimize out of this and we'll load up our steam client and play dark souls all right everybody as you see here we've loaded up the simple user interface mod successfully you can see our health bar and endurance bar are completely different let's go ahead and get into some combat real quick see the difference completely let's check out our reticle reticle is different got that nice kind of blue I like this reticle a lot actually it draws your attention a lot better than the original white one let's take a little bit of damage from this attacker so we can see how the health bar changes alright that's yellow background as well and as you see the opacity behind the background of our weapon and inventory icons on the left side of the screen is set to such a high level that we can see everything behind it and as well as where the soul counter is in the bottom right hand corner we have that same level of opacity so it's nice because we get to see a lot more of what's going on we're not really blocked off or anything like that and then clearly the number of humanity to the left of our health bar is different we got rid of that circle and background pattern behind it and it's just a simple number that stands out in white although it is pretty small you know that's one thing about this mod that i guess i would change personally i would make that number just slightly larger now let's jump into the inventory menu screen here as you can see, these icons are completely different to what they used to be. So let's go ahead and navigate in there. And now one other thing I want to point out, there is clearly a font um, texture package involved in this, or not involved, but included in this mod here. It doesn't really advertise it so much, but it's clearly there. As you can see, the font is much crisper. So this isn't something that you need to couple with the user interface and um, font mod that I showed you earlier. You basically would do one or the other or override one or the other's font selections. 
Now we'll navigate a little bit further and you can see here this is fairly similar. Uh, you know, obviously the fonts are clear and I believe the icon in the top left is a little bit different. Here is a drastic difference. We've got the outlining of all this inventory stuff totally different. Um, I think it's nice. Everything seems to pop. It makes, makes it more aesthetically pleasing in my opinion. And then uh, over here, everything seems pretty similar to me here. Nothing really stands out so much in my mind. So it's good, you know, I like it. It's clean, it's crisp, and it's simple. You know, the name of the mod is very fitting, so definitely makes sense here. We'll check out the arrow reticle. Not much different. I think it's probably the same. However, we do have the auto-targeting reticle that was improved in my opinion. So I do like this mod. I'm going to actually play with this mod, and I'm just going to add some tweaks here and there. I'm probably going to include the item buff mod, which is going to show the different magical buff properties underneath my stamina bar there. It's going to be a little bit different, and you'll see a review out for that shortly. So that's going to be it for this video, everybody. Thanks a lot for checking it out. If you have any questions or concerns, leave them in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for checking out my video. If you enjoyed it, please click the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel and social media accounts to keep current with Paper Planes updates. Thanks, and take it easy.